What's going on, everybody? Um, so the thing for my sister's little checkout counter deal is finished. It is finished as much as I'm doing. My, my part of it's finished. Um, the top actually came out a lot sturdier than I anticipated. Uh, let's see. My last video was so shaky. Um, somebody probably vomited after watching that thing. Sorry, I'm just holding my phone in my hand. But anyway, so this top here is uh, just two by tens that I cut down and laminated. Uh, just glued and I did pocket hole them underneath uh, really that was just mostly to help me hold everything in place um, when I was getting the clamps on it was just easier to put a couple pocket holes in there and uh, line it up and then get the clamps on but um, yeah it came out I mean I guess I'm pleased enough with it the thing is this countertop you know it's about four foot that way three foot on this side um, well it's the length of a door so I mean it's two by material so you're still talking a, a decent amount of weight and it's sitting on an inch and three quarter you know on the side profile of the door that's a lot to hang off so we have these, uh, these angle brackets all around it two on each side and uh, it would have looked better if I would have just screwed uh, into the door. But I, I really think, you know, over time, of, since this is a checkout counter, people are going to be leaning on it, pushing on it. I really think those screws would have backed out because the wood in this door, it, you know, it's not real tight grain stuff. It's not going to hold a screw great. So as you can see, you know, it definitely has, you know, the, the bolts coming out. This is the employee side, so they're not really going to see this. Um, then I put these smaller brackets here. I use these. This These brackets are actually covering up the top bolt. Uh, just one more thing that you don't have to see except for here. But honestly, I, I kind of think it's like trash under there. Thankfully, nobody's ever really going to see that. But let me get my camera flipped around. And I'll just show you, I guess overall the concept is decent. You know, it's not my thing. Uh, of course, the top's going to get stained. Whatever color she's going to stain it. She may paint the doors in this brackets. I don't know. That's not my thing. This is just a freebie for family. So anyway, let me get it turned around and we'll take a quick look at it. Okay. So this side here, as you can see, uh, routed uh, the edges, rounded those over so it wasn't such a sharp point, and then took this point off. But um, this side right here will be, actually there's gonna be a wall going this way. So it'd be kind of like if my table was a wall and this was the hallway. So there, right past this countertop, there is going to be where it gets put in place. There's a doorway. And I guess I would be kind of like standing in the hallway. So customers will come down the hallway. They'll come up to here, you know, a wall here, come through the doorway. Cash register here. They'll check out, get their coffee, whatever, over there. Um, like I said, so, you know, that's that's walled off and employees will enter through this side. So, uh, I mean, I guess it's cool enough for what it is. Like I said, it's just, it's just not my thing. I did talk my sister into using a corbel on that corner and on that corner on the inside. So one screw into the door, one screw into the floor, and that'll keep it from, uh, you know, as people walk by over time, kicking these or, or whatever. Because um, again, that corner is just a butt joint that's glued and screwed in from the other side. And that is a lot of leverage I think the bottom can definitely move more than it needs to. So uh, she's gonna take my advice and use corbels um, or angle brackets. I just think corbels will look better uh, to keep that in place. Or I guess you could just toenail them to the floor, but she's not gonna do that. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's it. One family freebie in the books. I think it'll be all right. 
guys. So I did forget to say exactly what this thing is for. So it is going to be kind of like a little checkout counter, but uh, it's for my sister, one of those family freebie projects. But uh, it's going to a, a cool thing, uh, I believe. Um, my sister has worked with special needs children for probably the last couple of decades at the local school system. And um, recently they have started this little coffee house uh, where these students work. Uh, they fulfill roles that uh, allow them to work within their, uh, their range. Um, and uh, the kids are doing everything from uh, working the cash register to serving coffee, making coffee. I think I think they make like little baked goods, um, stuff like that. But anyway, it's a cool project uh, to be a part of, going to a good cause. Uh, so that was kind of neat. Just thought you guys might like to hear about that. And I get to be the first one to have a cup of coffee at the bar. All right, see you guys.